Another top three commanders video coming at you hot. This is a series where we talk about the decks that finish in the top three of our commander league every month. If you're not familiar, we run a commander league through our Patreon. Hop into the discord and ask around if you're interested. We support it with prizes. Dragon Shield sponsors it with prizes. So it's a really good time. New format every month. You play a game a week and it's proxy friendly. In this episode, I'm joined by the commissioner of the commander league and one of our mods, Bobby Z, to talk about his deck, Wyleth. Little Boros equipment deck that he's placed with multiple times over the course of our league this year. If you give me just a second to thank the patrons that make all this possible on the road to us doing this full time, we'll have the discussion as soon as we're back. Highest level of gratitude to our patrons who power the channel through Patreon. Check out the Patreon link in the description to learn about monthly giveaways, VIP Discord access, and even our official playmat. Yes, yeah, so this is like the third time I've played Wyleth. Um, I don't have the the one that I came in second with um, saved. Uh huh. And this deck here. But this is a 250 version. Yeah, this deck here could have won. Um, I was not. Ex I mean, uh, a player just. I attacked in the wrong turn order, so had I attacked uh, one player before I had attacked the other one, I would have ended up winning that week. Um, but once, uh, you know, the player that I left alive was able to untap, the next time I went to kill him, he was able to uh, take care of Wyleth, so... So, with happens, the Wyleth the discussion, point. let's start here. How many Boros commanders have you played, and... Is this the best Boros commander for auras and equipments? For auras and equipments, yeah. Wyleth is ridiculous. You just load them up, you swing on the attack trigger, you get to draw a card for each aura or equipment attached to it. Like, you, I'm drawing... And it comes with trample. I love yeah. that. Just and trample? And it comes with trample. Love it. Yeah. So, I mean, I'm swinging in for, like, huge amounts of, of damage. i am usually got four, five, six, eight equipment or is on him so i'm drawing like nine you know eight nine ten cards a turn yeah. like it, it, it gets just crazy what sort of strategies counter strategies are absolutely backbreaking for this when did you lose what was what was really annoying to stop you from doing what you wanted to do if uh you know there's something where each player has to sacrifice you know x amount of creatures um that'll do it um sacrifice but, effects yeah you just have to have um ways to to blink him or you know get around it somehow or um you know once the board's wiped you just pay the commander tax on him and then once he comes in like everything just reattaches pretty much and you just go back to, to putting in some work so obviously Jessica's good. I think we know Jessica. Everybody knows Thrice Reborn. Crazy that that's a three dollar mythic now. I remember that hype being way higher when it came yeah, out. Yeah, I mean the big thing is if you can get Kethis out, so that when um, Wyleth is hitting one player, all the players are taking damage with Jessica's ability Kethis? out. Yep. This gotcha. Yep. So yeah. whenever a commander you control, yeah. Yeah, I'm seeing a lot of the greatest hits here. I actually don't know Selfless Samurai. When a samurai or a warrior you control attacks alone, it gains lifelink. And, <laughs> oh, it's got the dog ability to sack it and then uh -huh. something gains indestructible. That's so good. Yeah, so it just, just so happens that Wyleth is a warrior. So when he attacks alone, because uh, he's going to be attacking alone, he gets lifelink. Love and then if that. somebody tries to kill him, you can sacrifice the samurai to keep Wyleth alive. Yep. The card is amazing in this deck amazing art too really love that card I mean, just kind of all around we're gonna get to this one in a second but i do want to i do want to just mention ray of this one is a card that i've been very interested in playing for a long time but i just mm -hmm. haven't ever built a straight up deck for it you know and so is this one that did x like hard work for you when it came out oh yeah so especially when ray trample. When you get Ray of out on turn two, you yeah, turn two. Say, uh, the the God opening hand is you are able to get Hammer out on turn one, Ray of out on turn so two. So we'll go Colossus Hammer into Ray of, <laughs> into Ray of, into Wyleth. Obviously, yeah, Wyleth and then on, three, and then turn four is Pure Steel Paladin or uh, Brunar, or even Arden, honestly. 
Yeah. Uh, or even Arden. Arden's and then gonna you can, automatically do it. You just attach the hammer right on to right on to uh Wyleth. He becomes a twelve twelve trample. Double striker <laughs> with with double strike. <laughs> and that you draws just swing your cards. In. Yeah, and then you draw a card. That's insane. So I mean, if a player doesn't have a, a blocker, they just have a one one or a two two. That's commander damage. You're out. Right. So we got yeah. We know these are in here. Same kind of stuff for this. It's card advantage. Togo's creating. Is this is the idea here? Just extra equipment on yep on Wyleth for extra so, card draw. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing is you play a land, you get a rock, you can usually attach the rock for free, and then you get to draw a card when you attack. Yeah. Silent Arbiter staple in this kind of deck because you want to be attacking with your one big thing, most likely, and you want to be saved from crackbacks. I got to mm -hmm. say, I've never seen <laughs> this in a deck in my entire life. Please explain Fire Ants to me. So what you want to do with fire ants is once you are able to give Wyleth flying, or even if Wyleth can't get flying and someone has a go wide strategy, what you want to do is equip the fire ants with a basilisk collar. Okay. So if you read basilisk collar. Oh yeah. Death touch lifelink. I'm just trying to put it together in my head. This is a, Weird roundabout thing you got going here, Bobby. <laughs> so you're um, you're being able to what wipe the board repeatedly for non-flying yeah. creatures? Yep, it wipes all non-flying creatures off the board. You get one life life link for each creature that that died as well. Is this doing it to itself? Each other. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then you just hopefully what have an indestructible effect on Wyleth or something? Yep build around it that way which you usually do because there's a lot of auras in here that to give him indestructible or protection from creatures yeah yeah this looks good i'm liking your instant package here rebuff the wicked underplayed card oh my god that card puts in work <laughs> straight up <laughs> because counterspell. as soon as yeah Ugh. because someone will just be like uh i'm going to swords wyleth before i can get boots on him or something and i'm just like for one white mana nope counter yeah exactly exactly uh, love any deck that just straight up plays disenchant you're just like i want to fucking disenchant bro yeah and i don't want to pay four for it to to take out two right you know what i mean i just want to take out one thing that one thing obviously an all-star mm -hmm. in this kind of deck I love that you snuck a fog a fog in here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you got to have a fog. And deflecting palm is just like it's so much fun when someone's like, "Oh, I you're tapped out and so I'm going to swing at you for whatever or I'm going to make infinite mana and hit you with a fireball for like 1 1 trillion." You're just like, "Nope, deflecting palm." <laughs> right. Yeah, chat. I'm seeing a lot of comments about Voltron either being like not a super played for a uh, uh, deck type anymore, or it's easy to defend against. Bobby, I've, I played a lot of Voltron. Voltron was how I started. Uriel, the Miststalker, was my first ever commander, mm -hmm. and sacrifice effects obviously really screw up the game plan. You got to run enough other creatures to really get away around those, or ways that you know can make you not have to sacrifice things. Also, token decks. The beauty of this Voltron Commander is that it comes with Trample because Trample is the answer to chump blockers chat mm -hmm. if you are playing a Voltron deck. And so, like, Menace is good in a deck like this. It's probably better than the average deck to have Menace at your disposal. But Trample, that is the way that you can push a deck like this over the top for sure and and there's multiple ways to give wyleth protection from creatures or, right. or or protection from colors that's exactly what i was going to say next is i bet we yeah. go down here and i see and we see spirit mantle and we see unquestioned authority yep skip drawing a card bobby you always got the weirdest freaking cards in your deck let's read this, this one yep this island one's a sanctuary <laughs> Skip drawing a card. I'm assuming the oracle text here. Let's read the oracle well, text on this. So the reason why I don't care if I'm skipping my draw step. Uh-huh. Because you're drawing a uh, ton of cards. Because as soon as I attack, I draw five or six cards. Right. You've got this dual strategy here where 
you know when you're building a commander deck chat you're kind of looking at what do i have at coming out of the command zone do i have a win con do i have card advantage do i have ramp what are you looking out of the command zone and that sort of determines how you flavor the rest of your deck and mm -hmm. so it's interesting with wyleth because you've got both coming at you at once you've got a win con and you've got card advantage and that can be a pro and a con right because if if you just absolutely get targeted down by all three people it will be very difficult to just keep Wyleth alive through three people all on slotting you. But a lot of times that doesn't really happen and you kind of have to time out and play well, right? When you're piloting the deck. It's also important to try to, before you go to pop off, to have a bunch of Island Sanctuary, Pillow 40 right. type of effects in play, like um, Ghostly Prison and stuff like that. So people can't attack you a lot of the time. Island Sanctuary. A white and one for an enchantment. Jake's favorite permanent type because they're sticky. If you mm -hmm. would draw a card during your draw step, instead you may skip that draw. If you do, until your next turn, you can't be attacked except by creatures with flying <laughs> and or island walk. Yep. Card is amazing. So except by creatures with flying. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> is what this card says. The yep. and or island walk, that is very rare. Actually, mm -hmm. now I want to see what are the best cards in EDH with Island Walk. Okay. Wait. Where the text includes Island Walk? Oh, well, that's... Look at this. Island. Cold Eye. Oh, yeah. You're creating people the play. tokens with Island Walk. Cold Eye. Cold Eye sees play. People, people play Cold Eye. People play Master of the Pearl Trident in a, a Merfolk deck, but how yeah. often do you see someone playing a Merfolk deck? I've seen... I've seen Rex Seal on the battle battlefield a few times in my day. Storm yeah. Tide. Storm Tide, not so much. Way back in the day, yes. Same with Inkwell. That was yeah, a banger back no one, in the day. But yo, dude, no yeah. One, no one plays any of these cards. No. After after like the first two, you fall yeah. off a shelf, I bet, as far as percentage mm -hmm. played. So yeah. Island Maybe Sanctuary, Secret Commander Tech. Yeah. Well, short coming out soon. Yeah, smoke, smoke puts in, <laughs> puts in so much work. The card right next to it. Yeah, smoke the is ridiculous. Card. Yep, this is so good for a deck like this. Um, yep. I'm thinking of with Island Sanctuary. Is it Glacial Chasm? Because it's the same kind of thing. I think from uh, Ice Age. It's a white and a blue. Yeah, I think. this is it. This is it. Oh it yeah, is yeah. A battlefield. The you're sacking a land. And creatures you control can't attack, but you prevent all damage that will be dealt to you in the right deck. This is the kind of thing, too, where you're like, you don't care about this. You don't care about that at all. Yeah. This does kind of get cumulative, but, you know, it is if if you're in a life gain deck or if you're in the kind of deck where it's going to be gaining you some back, it can last even longer. Or you just sack it when you get to your next upkeep and you're like, all right, well, I can't pay 20. But I've had a ton of, I mean, in, in particular, my... Uh, my heartless deck i've got a mono red heartless hit Atsugu deck and in that deck deals damage to each player equal to half that player's life total rounded down you play glacial chasm right before you do it you're preventing all damage that will be dealt to you period not just combat damage love these like back I, backdoor texts to yeah. not take damage or be unattackable and when i'm playing combo decks i run chasm and i sandbag it until i'm about to like i'm like okay i can combo off on this turn right and then i'll play chasm exactly like that turn before i pop off oh yeah for sure just in case, in, it, just in case it gets you know t you know broken up or something or something or a lot of damage happens to you or something yeah um that's that's the same thing with heartless you know you get your double your damage doubler on the field you figure out how to get Heartless onto the battlefield with haste so you can activate it immediately. Play Glacial that turn. Do, you know, everybody's life total of damage to everybody or leave everybody at one or whatever. And you're still up in the 30s. Yeah. It's how to put a nice little target on yourself. <laughs> Sphere of Safety. Ghostly Prison. Totally just stacking these things. These kind of abilities. Oh, and Fighter's Class. Like, Fighter's Class is ridiculous for Boros mana. Yeah, newer card. When it eats like, EBs, you search your library for an equipment straight up into your hand. Wow. And yeah. then for three, you equip abilities you activate cost two less to activate. And that just becomes an ability on this enchantment, right? So it just stays mm -hmm. the rest of the game. 
Mm -hmm. And then whenever a creature you control attacks up to one target creature blocks it this combat if able. So you get to pick what you kill. Yeah, so I mean towards the end of the game you can use it to like take out people's dock sides or take out their um ristic buddies and stuff like that. Yeah. Take out their commanders, like when your commander's a twenty twenty trample, right. like your commander has to block it. You yeah. Know? Yeah. Whatever. Yeah, exactly. Just any creature. Kill them all. All the glitter staple, cigar aids aid staple. I saw this and I did think about this. Sparks said solitary confinement could be good here. Do you think about solitary in this deck? Yeah, I think it was uh like my card one oh one actually. Oh really? Yeah, so you were yep. close. Don't take advantage of the considering tab on Moxfield, I see. No, like I that's that's my deck. <laughs> <laughs> Looking at these utility lands. We got anything interesting oh, down uh, here? I, ice flow. I saw it. I'm going to type it in up here so we have the oracle text on it. Ice flow. It's age. Oh, yeesh. Oh, here we go. Cards you totally forget about. Mm -hmm. You know them. You've seen them. Internet's not loving me tonight. Here we go. You may choose not to untap it during your untap step. Tap it. Tap target creature without flying that's attacking you. Weird. It doesn't untap during its controller's untap step for as long as ice flow remains tapped. So like it, it's worded like this to get around vigilance. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Yep. Interesting. You got all this. It's interesting how much thought and prep you've put into defensive tech in your Wyleth deck because yeah, you mean, would think Wyleth aggro only build aggro stuff into it go to the you know just balls to the wall but you've yeah, got but, that defense going but what happens when Wyleth gets blanked or you're going up against a go wide strategy like you're gonna get taken out you need to be able to play defense yeah is this just a pet tech for you Mephalia Academy yeah, I, I you always run this card uh, in budget builds just because if someone's going to make me um, discard a card, I I don't want to discard my cards. I like my cards in my hand, so <laughs> I'll just... <laughs> I like my like, cards in my hand. You heard it here, chat. I mean, plus if, you know, you're going up against... Yeah. Would you play this with, like, a three-color deck? Uh, Yeah, maybe. I like Nefalia Academy. Jake was so high on this card when it came out. Roadside Reliquary. Yeah, Roadside Reliquary. And you get, you know, turn 10, turn 11, just sack it and go draw two cards. Yeah, I mean, in this kind of deck, it just, it smacks for sure. It smacks yep. the for only sure. Reason, the only reason why there's one snow-covered island and one snow-covered mountain in the deck is because I've got those... Uh, Boil etched pixel art ones from the secret lair that are just <laughs> super cool. Yeah. Uh, that's the other thing, too, is so when we're playing on Moxfield, we're set for like whatever the lowest priced printing is. Yeah. So when I'm actually playing this deck, the entire deck is like foil blinged out. For sure. It, it's, it, it's not a $250 deck when I'm playing it, but um, that's part of what we have built into it so it's 250 dollars for whatever the uh, with the prices on the individual cards at whatever the lowest priced printing of that card is but you if you've got the blank versions should by all means play the blank versions i took credit for making this price explode on this card for a little while mm -hmm. i had a short that, explode with that I mean, card read, read the card for wyleth like it's it's it just stupid oh, oh dude yeah this card is so chat this says in the middle there's really all you need to know whenever equipped creature deals damage to a blocking creature kusari gama deals that much damage to each other creature defending player control so it's like oh you want to block you took trample away somehow and you want to block okay yeah go ahead just kill six, wipe your six board. <laughs> power with this deck ain't that hard to get to and six toughness is gonna wipe pretty much most edh things off the board the Wyleth is usually somewhere between a 10 or a 15 with double striking. So, I mean. Yeah. Yeah, exactly.